spent a lot of years in advertising. And in advertising, one of the things that you learn pretty quickly is that most of the big decisions are made in bars, um, on cocktail napkins, on the basis of someone's persuasiveness or their instinct or their intuition. And I suppose I was always cursed with that sense that there, there's got to be a better argument. There's got to be more information that can be brought to a, a better decision. Flash forward now, 10 years later, every marketing department of any size has a very well-defined set of operational metrics. Every marketing department has not just one, but probably 10 dashboards that they're using. There are a million ways to use data, particularly the big data sets that are being developed today, to measure the near-term impact of your marketing on the business. Unfortunately, over the years, it's become increasingly obvious that the larger majority, and in some cases a multiple, of the short-term value marketing creates is actually created over the long run. Now, most marketers understand the concept of brands and how brands build value, but brand value is something that's very difficult to measure the impact of in the near term. It can really only be built over a period of time, and it can really only be measured over a period of time. And so, consequently, it takes a very different set of techniques and methods to try to delicately tease out the effect of the brand on the business versus, say, the effect of the economy or changes in the size or the nature of the sales force or changes in the fundamental product value proposition as it evolves over time. But the chief financial officer doesn't inherently understand the financial value that brands create. They intuitively understand it, but they don't specifically understand it. So if you're a marketer and you're able to very eloquently and comprehensively demonstrate the short-term value your marketing's creating, you're running the risk of grossly underserving your marketing program. You're running the risk of demonstrating a far lower return on investment than you're actually achieving. You're running the risk of not helping the company really understand the degree to which you're creating a tremendous multi-billion dollar asset that they need to be protecting and preserving even when budgets get tight in the short term. And if marketers really want to have that seat at the table, if they really want to be treated at the same level of respect, if they really want to be compensated at the same level as people who run business units or run the finance department or run other aspects of the organization, it's more important than ever that they learn to really understand the financial contribution over the long term and not just measure the things they can measure. They should be measuring the things they should measure. Our mission is really to help marketers of all types be able to employ the latest and greatest tools and techniques that have been proven to identify the true drivers of demand. Mm -hmm.